I'm Lucy Fink and this week is five days of borrowing other people's beauty routines. Hey guys! It's me. If you're new to our YouTube channel, click right here to subscribe. And if you've been here before, then welcome back. Before you watch the episode, please comment below and let me know what other five day challenges you wanna see me attempt in this series. All right, let's get into it. In this week's episode of Try Living With Lucy, I'm gonna be breaking away from my typical beauty regimen and instead trying out the routines of some of my favorite people. I wanna give you a quick look at what my typical beauty routine looks like so that you have something to compare this week to. I start my day by snoozing my alarm about 20 times. Seriously, I really struggle to get out of bed. When I finally wake up, I do a few stretches in my bed. Next, I bring my yoga mat into the living room and I do a few morning yoga poses. Then the usual, I splash my face with water, I brush my teeth, I put deodorant on. One thing I love to do is drink a glass of lukewarm water with fresh lemon squeezed into it because that spurt of sourness in the morning really wakes me up. Next, I put on a natural face of makeup. I throw on my clothes and I'm out the door. Then at night when I get home from work, after I take a shower, brush my teeth, and take my makeup off, I put on a gentle eye cream and then I use an acne spot treatment. And that is my typical routine. Peace. On day one, the first person whose routine I'm borrowing this week is my twin sister, Allie. Hey, Lubug, it's me. Although we're twins, we lead very different lifestyles because we're in such different career fields, so our morning routines are most certainly not the same. First, I set my alarm for 5.50 a.m. I don't snooze because I have to be at work very early. Waking up at 5.50 a.m. is not what I'm used to. I already tried five days of waking up at 5 a.m. for a previous episode of this series, and hands down, it was one of the most challenging things I've ever done. And this whole no snoozing thing was even harder for me because I'm such a snoozer. I don't know how people just hear their alarm and then get up immediately. Like, don't you need to snooze? But I stuck to Allie's routine and I did not snooze today. I shut the alarm off right away and I got out of bed. I go into the bathroom, I put my cellar water, put it on a cotton pad, and I wipe it all over my face. Lately, I've heard of a lot of people using this micellar water. Apparently, it attaches to all of the dirty gunk that's on your face and helps to clean off makeup, dirt, oil, everything. Then I go into the kitchen and I mix some apple cider vinegar into a glass of warm water and I drink it. From seeing my routine, you know that fresh lemon squeezed into water is my morning drink of choice. So the apple cider vinegar was a little bit harsh for me. It tasted so weird and at first I had to spit it out. <laughs> But after taking a few more sips, I actually started liking it. To make this routine even more like Allie's typical morning routine, I decided to wear an outfit that was in line with what she'd wear to her finance job. I steamed this black collared jumpsuit, very formal, no wrinkles. But I lucid it up a little bit with a bright red blazer. <sighs> Woo! That's right. Next, for a busy long day of work, I usually just have to get my hair out of my face so it's not bothering me all day. I'm used to wearing my hair down every day just like this, so slicking it back into a high bun was a bit more time consuming than I'm used to. But by the end, I thought I looked very professional. Hey guys. What's hey, you look so professional. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> I'm freaking Rachel out. <laughs> what if I get closer? I look like a lawyer. Yeah. What if I get closer? Or like an accountant. <laughs> Future Lucy. This is like 40 year old Lucy. Yeah, this is 40 year old Do you Lucy. like it? The jacket is very you, the rest of it is, is confusing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> And then when I got home from work, I followed Allie's nighttime routine. After waking up at 5.50 a.m. and having puffy eyes, I totally get why she needs to use these eye patches in the evening. <laughs> I feel like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Today, I took on Mian Chan's routine. Mian is Refinery29's beauty writer, and I was so excited to take on her routine because she always has such perfect, glowing, clear skin, and she knows everything about beauty. My skincare routine in the morning is around 8 a.m., and I just cleanse my, cleanse my face. It was definitely interesting to use a cleanser first thing in the morning because I'm used to just waking up and splashing my face with water, but I didn't realize until I did it just how much dirt and oil must build up on my face overnight. I use a little bit of this clay mask from Glamglow. This one is nice because it really pulls all the 
oil out of your skin. I'm gonna take her word for it, but putting on a mud mask in the morning is a concept that's pretty foreign to me. Spending 10 minutes on a mud mask in the morning? Ain't nobody got time for that. I'm used to staying right here in my bed for as long as I possibly can because I love this place so much and then running out the door quickly. So sitting there for 10 minutes while the mask dried on my face had me feeling pretty anxious and antsy. Sunscreen is an everyday must for me, even in the winter, even when it's cloudy out, I have to wear sunscreen. Sunscreen. That is one thing that I've been trying to be better about because I know how important it is to make sure your skin is protected every day, but I still find myself only wearing sunscreen when I'm on my way to the beach. Because Mian is a beauty writer for R29, she has so many beauty products just splayed out at her desk. So she actually doesn't do her makeup in the morning until she gets to work. So today I waited until I was at my desk at work and then I did Mian's classic makeup look. Whoa. And went to show her. But did I do time. a good job with the you eyes? Did, I, I feel it. like I was channeling you the whole time. <laughs> I really like the look, but it was definitely a lot of makeup on my face, so I got home and I've already taken it off, as you can see. She has a pretty substantial nighttime face routine using some awesome and very expensive products. The toner and the night serum felt great, and the face oil did get me a little bit nervous that I was gonna break out afterwards, but she is Mian, so I'll take her word for it. John Boulette is the head of video development at Refinery29, and I'm gonna go ahead and guess that he and I have very different beauty routines. Here's a bit about John. He's a dad, Woo! he's got a full beard, and he wears jumpsuits. So I intentionally went to bed last night in my pajama jumpsuit so that when I woke up this morning, I already felt like John. Since I don't have a beard to shave off, I started out by buying one of those stick razors and shaving off the peach fuzz on my upper lip. Hope I don't cut myself shaving. I felt a little sharp there for a minute. And then I put some oil on top. I couldn't find any hair in my ears, but I thoroughly checked my nose, and it turns out I have some of those. When that razor turned on, I did not know what to expect. I kind of thought it was going to hurt and rip all my nose hairs out really quickly, but it kind of just tickled. <sighs> I'm typically such a shower in the evening type of girl because I like to take long, relaxing showers. So waking up and showering first thing in the morning and making it really quick is so far off from my normal routine, but I kind of liked it. I woke up, I felt refreshed, got out, went to work. I used your nose trimmer. How'd you, how did you like it? Um, it was tickly. Yeah. Do you do that every day? I have to. I actually have to do it twice a day. What? Yeah. <laughs> your nose hairs just regenerate? Yeah, that fast. Oh, looking good. Yeah. Right? Nice You're and, totally nice and clean. Totally clean. Yeah. Who knew? But turns out John is a bit particular about his feet. I gave myself a full-on pedicure with a nail clipper, nail file, moisturizer, foot callus removers, the whole shebang. John's morning routine went by so quickly, and even though he only had one thing for me to do at night, this pedicure was so involved and wound up taking me about an hour. That was a long time. Happy Thursday! Today I chose to borrow the beauty routine of my coworker and friend, Empress. And I specifically chose her because I know that she's all about holistic self-care and total self-love. Oh, I'm ready! First things first, before I even get out of bed, I pull out my sage stick. I've burned sage before, but what never ceases to amaze me is how good it smells. I lit the sage, and then I opened the windows in my apartment before waving it all around my living room and my bedroom. This might seem like a mystical practice, but some scientists actually believe that burning sage can change the positive and negative ions in the air around us. Pretty cool. DIY face mask, the most delicious mask you can ever put on your face. It is made out of Honey. The honey and coffee ground mixture was a little bit ominous looking, I'm not gonna lie. It was very dark and gritty like sand, but Empress promised me that it would make my skin feel great, and she was so right. Add on to that great feeling skin, and I use a jade roller. I've never used this contraption before, but I like it. The jade roller moved across my face smoothly, and it really felt like I was getting a full-on face massage. As Empress told me, this also helps increase blood circulation in your face, which improves your skin's complexion. I make my own deodorant every day. Fun fact. 
I'm used to using the same deodorant every day, so making my own DIY version had me a little bit nervous and feeling a bit self-conscious, but I mixed everything together and then I just applied it with my fingers. At this point, everything was so far so good, but I needed to see how well this deodorant held up during the course of my day. And the answer, sadly, was not well. By midday, I was sweating at my desk and the DIY deodorant just did not mask the smell. I end my day in my bathroom. Tonight, I really slowed things down. I drew myself a warm bath with bubbles, Epsom salts, Empress's lavender oil, and rose petals. I surrounded myself with relaxing candles, and then I placed a tray in front of myself with a glass of wine, chocolates, and other goodies. This is something that I need to do more often. For my final day of borrowing other people's routines, I chose a coworker of mine named Anna, who's a marathon runner. I'm a runner, so I try to start my day with a cold shower, and I try to make it as cold as I possibly can stand it, because it kind of wakes me up in the morning. I am not a cold shower person. My body is naturally cold, especially when I get out of bed in the morning and I have to leave my warm, fluffy sheets. The last thing I want to do is take a cold shower, but today, I did it. Freezing! A little coconut oil and I put it on my skin and I use it just like I would um, a lotion. Coconut oil, as you might know, is something that I once made an entire episode about, so I have a ton of jars of it around my apartment. I usually use it for cooking or in my hair, but this morning after I got out of the shower, I rubbed it all over my body. And thankfully, Anna wears store-bought deodorant. Ah! So after my Thursday of not smelling too hot, I was back to wearing my normal deodorant. Then I slice up a little lemon, and I either put it on a cotton swab, or sometimes I put it right on my face. Lemon juice is an anti-inflammatory that can help with problem spots. Spots. But as you know, my skin is very sensitive, so applying fresh lemon juice directly to it definitely stung a little bit. And then at night, I make my favorite little coconut milk. Um, I call it golden milk. I was really scared about this one. Once I was just about to drink it, I looked at this thick yellow mixture with oil beating up in it, and I got a little bit concerned. But don't judge a golden milk by its cover, because I took a mm. sip, and it was really good. It's good. It's really good. If you had asked me on Monday if I thought this experiment was gonna change my typical beauty routine, I would have said, no way. But I was wrong. I wound up loving Allie's apple cider vinegar drink, so I think I'm gonna start adding apple cider vinegar into my lemon water. The DIY deodorant was not for me because I spent the whole day wondering if I smelled bad, which I did, so I'm definitely gonna stick to my regular spray from now on. But Empress's Zen bath was something that was much needed and something that I never give myself enough time for. So that is gonna change after this video. I'm taking a bath every night for the rest of my life. Hold me to it. Now I'd love to know your beauty routines, so comment below and let me know if you have any fun things that I can add to my daily regimen. And as always, let me know what you wanna see me try next time. Bye! Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. Click here to watch another video on Refinery29, right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and here for my personal YouTube channel. See ya!